Good evening, Dr. Zakhar Naik. Um, this is Mary. Uh, I'm a Christian and a banker by profession. Uh, my question uh, for you is based on your statement that uh, nowhere in the Bible it's mentioned that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And uh, based on my knowledge and understanding of Bible, I have picked up two verses to quote, and uh, I would like only your clarification in the light of Islam. The first one is Matthew chapter 3, verse number 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The second is John chapter 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. So whosoever shall believe, believe in, in him shall not die but have everlasting life. That's right. <laughs> Sister, just to correct your statement, you made a question saying that I said that nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus is the Son of God. I never said that nowhere in the Bible is it mentioned that Jesus is the Son of God. I said there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. I never said the Bible does not say Jesus is son of God. What I said, there is not a single unambiguous statement, not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. If you point out any such two statements, I am ready to accept Christianity. If your question assumes that Son of God means Jesus is God, very well, I will reply to your question. Many Christians think that just by the statement Son of God means Jesus is God. Sister, do you know in the Bible, Adam is Son of God, Ephraim is Son of God, Israel is Son of God. God has got sons by the tons in the Bible. That means you haven't read your Bible, sister. So do you mean to say all of them are gods? Is Adam God? Is Ephraim God? Is Israel God? No. Son of God is a statement used if you read Romans chapter number 8, verse number 14. All those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. Means if you follow the commandment of God, if I follow the commandment of God, I am a son of God. In this way, undoubtedly, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, verily, is the most beloved son of God. Meaning, he is following the commandment of God. I have got no problem at all. If you say, Son of God means person who follows the commandments of God, like it's mentioned in Romans. All those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. If I follow the commandment of God, you follow the commandment of God, we are all children of God. Very innocent statement, no problem. So as far as your Matthew is concerned, 317 have clarified. Now coming to your second quotation of Gospel of John chapter 3 verse number 16, but what the Christian missionary say? No, 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 brother Zakir. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not a normal son. He is the begotten son of God. And they quote, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believeth in him, shall not die, but have everlasting life. Sister, simple question. What is the meaning of the word begotten? He has given it. No, what is the meaning of begotten? He has it's, given his son to the people. No, no, sister. Begotten doesn't mean he's given his son. You know English, I know English. Your English is, mashallah, very good. Begotten doesn't mean he's given his son. If I say you have begotten I, a I'm son. Not a, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Don't I'm give metaphorical scholar. meaning. English I'm not meaning. a scholar. I, I'm You're not very, a scholar, but I'm your English layman. is very good. I'm a layman person. And but sister, uh, your I, English I is very good. If I say you have begotten a son, what does it mean? That means you have had sexual relationship with your husband and you begot a son. Begetting is a function of lower animals of sex. How can I attribute this function to Almighty God? Who did God have sex with? Who? That's the reason the scholars of Christianity, if you read the Revised Standard Edition, Revised Standard Version of the Bible, revised by 32 scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations. They say this word begotten in Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16, is an interpolation, is a fabrication, is a concoction, and they're thrown out of the Bible. So if you read the Bible, 
if you read the revised standard version it is the best seller in the world revised standard version revised by not muslims not hindus 32 christian scholars of the highest eminence backed by 50 different corporate denominations they say this word begotten is not present in the original manuscript of gospel of john chapter 3 verse 16 what they say it's an interpolation it's a fabrication it's a concoction it's an adulteration so so jesus is just like a son like Adam was son of God, Ephraim was son of God, Israel was son of God, he's a prophet of God. So I've got no problem in accepting that verily Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a prophet and a messenger of God, but he was not God. Hope that answers the question, sister. So now, sister. Thank you very much, Dr. Sister, Zachary. can we reverse the role now? Yes, I definitely. said I was ready to accept Christianity if you prove Jesus was God. Would you accept Islam now? Would what you agree that I, Jesus is the prophet of God? I have still a few more things to clarify. You are most welcome, sister. Why, why do Muslims refrain from the statement, son of God? Why? Yes. If I answer the question, will you accept Islam? <laughs> Man, it's not a compulsion. I, I think we have a huge population of Muslims in the world. We, we yes. need believers. We do not need only Muslims by name. Yes, so we want Muslim by deed. So we want to become Muslim by deed, not by name sister okay coming to your question that why do muslims refrain from using son of god as a free very good question and that is the reason sister if you read the quran quran has got 99 attributes to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ar rahman ar rahim al hakim most gracious most merciful most wise but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his last and final revelation if there's something like old testament and new testament quran is the last testament in his last testament he has not used the word ab in arabic ab means father why he has used the more difficult word rab rab is more difficult to pronounce than ab which means the lord the cherisher the sustainer he has used rab as attribute but not ab why because in the previous revelations previous revelation which was changed bible is the change form of the injil people have misunderstood the meaning of son of god they started thinking to be begotten son for example, if I tell, you know, young son, beta tumne achcha sawal pucha. You know, son, you have asked a very good question. If a son asks a question of the age of 10, son, you have asked a very good question. But if I say, you begotten son, you have asked a very good question, he may punch me. He will not say, oh, the Akhir is elderly, he may punch me. That means I'm abusing his mother. If I say, my begotten son, he will get angry. I'm insinuating that I had sex with his mother. So son is innocent word. Begotten son is not innocent. Same way, the son is a very good word, but people started misunderstanding. So to remove this confusion, that's the reason the Quran does not use the word father as attribute to Almighty God. Otherwise, it's a good word. So same way, we refrain from using son of God because people start thinking that he's God. No Christian ever comes and tells me Adam is son of God, Ephraim is son of God. Why? Bible says Israel is son of God. Why don't you come and tell me? Because they are programmed. No Christian has come and told me that the Bible says Ephraim is son of God. No, why? Because they are programmed to believe that Jesus Christ is Almighty God. He never said he's Almighty God. And I told you earlier, in my earlier answer, he never claimed divinity. That means you are insulting Almighty God. That means you are insulting Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. That's what I say. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. You know why? Because if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims are circumcised, Christians are circumcised. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he said that you have to follow each and every law of the Bible, each and every commandment. Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse number 17 to 20. If you break one law or jittle from the commandment, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. If you go to the Old Testament, it clearly says in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11 verse number 7 to 8 in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 8 in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse number 2 to 5 that you shall not have pork Muslims don't have pork but Christians have pork so if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 5 verse number 18 that thou shall not have wine it's mentioned in the book of Proverbs chapter number 20 verse number 1 Wine is a mocker. You should not have wine. Muslims don't have alcohol, but the Christians have alcohol. Further, if you analyze, there are various references I can give you. 
So if Christian means one who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I say that I am more Christian than the Christian themselves. If you become a Muslim, you are a more better practicing Christian than the so-called namesake Christians. Yes, sister. Uh, can I ask something? Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You're most welcome, sister. I would not like to cross-question or uh, criticize your statement. Sister, I have you're most right welcome to cross-question me. You're most welcome to criticize me. I love it. Unless a person doesn't cross-examine. See, suppose I want to prove something. If I say this is the best, I want to check it out whether it's best or not. That's right. Because a logical person, so please, sister, cross-examine me, criticize me, attack me. Once you're convinced, then you accept it. Yes, sister, go ahead. I will definitely not intend to do something like this. The object of questioning more is to know more so that I know what I follow is right. That's all. Thank you very much. Sister, you can ask any question, no problem. You're most welcome. Whether your intention, your intention is very good, but I went to the extent of saying even your intention is bad, no problem. But your intention is very good, sister. You, so you can ask any questions and you don't have to accept Islam. No one can force you. Quran says, I craft it deed. There's no compulsion religion. Truth stands out clear from it. So don't think that if I answer your question, you have to accept. On the day of judgment, only give the evidence that I give you the answer. Yes, sister. Any questions? Thank you very much. Yes, sister. Uh, you said that uh, we Muslims are better Christians than the actual Christians. So... The complete statement I made, if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. Yes, sister, your question. But uh, this, is, uh, this is not a layman's statement. Some I layman mean, statement. do not have a specialized knowledge of Islam and as well as Christianity. And you can ask the doctors of divinity whether I'm saying is right or wrong. Yes, sister. Thank you very much, Dr. Zanai. So what is the question that... That was my question, that why did you mention that we Muslims are better Christians than the actual Christians? When I said that, why did I say I that... I think this is beyond my thinking, that why right. would a Muslim call himself a Christian? No, correct. Why? Because we love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We love him more than you. We love him, we respect him, we revere him. But we don't worship him. The reason I said this because I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I respect him, I revere him, but I don't worship him. Because he never told me to worship him. If he would have told me to worship him, I would have worshipped him. So that's the reason I say, if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I'm more Christian than the Christian themselves. Because I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I respect him, I revere him, but I don't worship him. So I hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you very much.